I always feel like that's a good gauge of you know who your top players are if they make everyone else around them better. I would arguably say for sure. Uh, he's been really good. But we talked about him early in the year. I mean, he's taken a big big step offensively. He's he's gained some confidence. We're seeing that. Um, I think he's quicker. He's more confident. Obviously, his overall game. You know. We saw what he could do last year, uh, face-off wise, away from the puck. He just didn't didn't score, you know. But uh, this year he came in. I think that year really helped him uh, learn learn this level, and he worked hard in the summer, and uh, he's getting rewarded for it. Uh, I think he's been tremendous for us uh, in, in every aspect. I think uh, he's been consistent. So yes, I think he's been probably our best our best forward for sure. I know you've always mentioned with him it's not about the offense, it's not about the scoring, but him adding that element and, and doing so well there with the goals and assists, how important is that for you guys right now? Uh, that he's become an big, offensive force out there. Uh, real big. I mean, uh, you know, it's not like we're, we're scoring a ton of goals, but uh, you know it's, bal- it's a little more balanced scoring, but he's, he's right up there at the top. Uh, and he's earned it, you know. Like I said, the way he plays the game, he plays hard, he competes, uh, he's, he's consistent. Uh, the biggest difference to me is he's he looks quicker. He looked quicker coming into the year, and then now he's got some confidence offensively that he maybe didn't have last year, and that's a good weapon for us because he's still good at the other things, face-offs and defensive, defensive play and play without the puck. So, uh, He's been, a, he's been a valuable, valuable part of our team so far. What can a guy like him do to, to help Riley Tufty uh, get scoring? Is it exactly what he, what him, Parker, and, and Riley showed on that uh, first goal Saturday? Well, yeah, I mean, this guy's work, and, you know, like Richie's a little simpler player. He's not a big east-west guy. He's more of a chip-and-goal guy, and, um, you know, we've seen whether Cole was on that line with Parker and, and Richie, you know, the, the, the four checks, they, they've generated opportunities in zone four checks, getting above bucks. I mean, that was a great example. We put puck in and, you know, those guys want a puck battle along the wall and Riley found a, a spot and uh, hopefully we see more of that. Uh, there's no question. I just think he's, he plays the game with simplicity and that's what makes him effective. And there's some guys that really complicate the game. And, you know, right now, hopefully, he continues to do that, and we get more guys doing the same thing. I talked to Adam Krause yesterday. He mentioned the consistency of, of Richie and, and Parker's mm-hmm. team kind of helping Riley along. Is, is that consistency a buzzword for you here as the second half gets underway? You're searching for that <laughs> within our team? Yeah, absolutely. Because right now we we haven't we haven't found it yet. It's been way too up and down for me. And, like I said, we got away from some things that we wanted to do Saturday. I think we played a better game Saturday for sure. Um, they capitalized on our mistakes just like we did Friday. But just to beat good teams, you got to do it over 60 minutes. And you know, we we do it, and then we get away from it. And just those lapses, uh, those lapses for me are are what hurt our team. And we've got to get back to eliminating some of those. Uh, I'm not talking about momentum swings. I'm just talking about just mental lapses with carelessness with the puck, or you know, maybe getting caught with too many guys, you know, off a rush. Just just things that you need to recognize are hockey situations that I think we can be better at. And, and when we do that, and when we play, you know, I think the game within the way we need to play it, we're we're a pretty good team. We're a pretty good team, and I think we showed that in the first 10 or 12 minutes uh, on Saturday. Even though the second goal was a power play goal, but I really liked our five-on-five play. I thought we were we were keeping the game simple. We were physical. We were getting guys to the net. We were getting pucks to the net. You know, we got rewarded with a with a goal, and it was nice to see the power play score too. But uh, we just need to. You have to be more consistent. It's January. We can't be up and down, Bruce. We've got to be. Everyone's got to buy into that right now. And, Right, right now we're, we're close to there, but uh, we'll find out this weekend because it's going to be a, a big test for us on the road.
Miami is traditionally a very difficult team to handle in its barn. What are the challenges that they uh, bring you this weekend? Well, they're they're having a good year. I mean, I know they're probably 500, a little bit under that in the league, but they had a good start. Their goaltending's better. Um, they've always had good teams. I think their goaltending, and, you know, in the previous couple of years maybe wasn't up to the, the standard which standard it should be, and we all know how important that is. But uh, you know, they play fast. Um, obviously, they they're a heavy team. Uh, they really get to the net. They transition extremely well. They scored two or three goals off the rush uh, against Western Michigan. So another team that really you know can get up the rink and attack the net and, and down low. You know they got some big bodies, and uh, you're going to have to make plays under pressure. Uh, and if we don't do that and turn more pucks over because we're not doing that because we don't have puck support and we make the wrong play. It's probably going to transition the other way or it's going to not end up in a good result for us. So um, I'm really more focused on our team and getting our guys kind of dialed in on the things we need to do. And, and uh, you know, if we do that, it, I'm not, uh, not too worried about the teams we play. The balance and depth you've got, you could almost mix and match every game, but the changes you made last weekend were significant, and yet they all seemed to work out. The guys you moved all played well at times. They got some goals, anyhow. Are you going to leave them the, the way they finished for this weekend? You guys are making a big thing about a couple of line changes, but um, we'll see. I don't know. I thought it worked good. Well, combinations don't always work, and those clicked almost as soon as you put them together. For now, you never know. You never know what's going to work. On paper, everything looks good, right? You put it down, you got to see. Right now, it's not like we were tearing up the world here, you know? Right. I mean, we haven't had a full lineup with everybody since end of November, right? right? So we've had some different lines and something we talked about in the first half of the year because um, you go through different different ideas and different combinations and that's something that I made the decision and you know talking it over with Adam and, and Hertz we made the decision to, to just make a couple changes and you know what well that's uh, all I'm asking are you gonna start Friday night the way you finished probably probably okay. you can keep well, us guessing we'll you know, yeah well <laughs> You know, some of it might be relative to how guys are playing too. Right. You know, and right now we're getting into that point of the year where you got to perform, and you know yeah. what, you got to play at a high level. And if you don't, you might not play. And if some other guys are, they're going to go in there. You know, and we've got some guys that are certainly capable of of jumping into some other roles or other spots on on our lineup, uh, whether it's temporary or permanent. So um, I just don't want that to. I don't want complacency. I feel we, there's a little bit of that right now. Now maybe a couple tweaks changes that, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But hey, we're always thinking, John. We're always thinking. I know. That's why I asked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes too much, probably. <laughs> well, Miami is is not uh, having the year St. Cloud's having. They don't have the team, but but that that could be a, a nasty little trap for you too. If there's any complacency, records mean nothing to me. You know okay. what? We played this team, and we've had some unbelievable games where we've been fortunate to win we've had some games where you know we deserve to win but uh, it's always a tough building uh, they come at you and um, like I said they're playing they're playing better this year with a lot more confidence and uh, you know they lost a couple tough ones to Western but it doesn't matter in our league you know you can throw records out the window because right. everybody's good and you've got to be prepared to play 60 minutes or more every night to, to win a hockey game and we, we got to get back to that we've well, got to get back to that and Rico would probably like nothing better than to knock you up no <laughs> probably I don't know no, oh, okay. How good was he coming back from from World Juniors? Good, good, good. You know, I mean, I think uh, gained another level of confidence. I mean, obviously, he played great there. Uh, played a lot of situations for us with the with the World Junior team. But um, you know, he's had a, he's had a good year. You know, and but he's got a little little more of a little more of a swagger, a little step. Uh, so hopefully that continues because I thought. Uh, he really did a good line. I thought that line was our best line uh, over the weekend as far as uh, generating, you know, energy and plays and making plays and creating opportunities. And um, we need that to continue.